Hi, welcome to Auto Age. I still remember that on April 15, 2021, Too Simple was listed on NASDAQ in the United States, becoming the world's first listed driverless company, with a market value of 8.48 billion US dollars on the first day of listing. In its prospectus, Too Simple defines itself as an autonomous technology company that is revolutionizing the estimated $4 trillion global trucking market. In addition, Too Simple holds a series of semi truck specific technical secrets, including Too Simple's 1000 meter perception range, 35 second planned field of view, high definition maps with accuracy within 5 cm, and an integrated L4 autonomous semi truck design kit and components, including fully redundant sensors. On the official website, Too Simple summarizes its advantages as seeing farther processing more, reacting faster, and not afraid of the dark and storm. It seems that the high spirits of the past are still in sight. What is embarrassing is that, affected by the shock of the company's top management, as of November 1, the stock of Too Simple listed on Nasdaq plummeted by 45%, and the market value is only 770 million US dollars. This year since then, the company's stock has fallen by 90%. A company founder, chairman, technical helm, and even a major shareholder who holds the majority of the company's voting rights, was fired by the board of directors for no reason. This is not Jobs' story. This is Xiaodi Ho of Too Simple. On October 31st, a personnel change in Too Simple an autonomous driving star company with business and working teams in both China and the United States, received a lot of attention from the outside. According to an email message from the company, the board of directors has dismissed Xiaodi Ho, the absolute core figure of the company, from the positions of CEO, CTO, President and Chairman. The source of this incident is the investigation of Too Simple by the FBI, Securities and Exchange Commission and Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States. The above-mentioned agencies suspect that Ho did not properly disclose his relationship with Hydron Incorporated, a startup that is developing self-driving hydrogen-powered trucks. By the way, the company was founded in June this year after two simple co-founder Chen M.O. left the company. Regarding Chen's departure, the outside world generally believes that it has something to do with the regulation of China and the United States. In 2015, Chen Mo, Xiaodi Ho and others co-founded Too Simple, which received 50 million yuan in Series A investment from Sina at the beginning of its establishment. Both of them are of Chinese descent, but neither is Chinese nationality. Chen is a Canadian citizen. It is said that Ho obtained American citizenship around 2020, mainly for the company's listing needs. Ho, who became famous as a teenager, studied in the best high school of China the high school affiliated to Renmin University of China. He entered Shanghai Jiaotong University in 2003 and published a highly cited paper in his junior year. Later, he continued to study at the California Institute of Technology. He is a PhD in computation and nervous system, an expert in computer vision and cognitive science. The theory of visual attention mechanism based on frequency domain founded by him is the most influential research on visual attention mechanism in the past 10 years. He is also the most cited author of a single academic article among Chinese PhD in the field of computer vision and has an important influence in the academic field. In China, Ho also has a very famous label as Youth Hacker. Thirteen years ago, a book titled Campus Hacker Xiaodi Ho was very popular on campus, and it was written about the growth story of this genius boy. After the incident, Xiaodi Ho quickly sent out a personal response through social media. He said he was confused about the whole thing, and even the board's vote was questionable from procedure to conclusion. Ho made it clear that his work and life are completely transparent, there is nothing to hide, and he does not accept any allegations of malfeasance. Ho also recalled the journey since the founding of Too Simple, starting from a small single room of more than 60 square meters, with the dream of technology changing the world, 
step by step to become the too simple today. This field has the potential to fundamentally change society, but there is no room for mediocrity. I am very confident in the long term value of too simple, and I have not sold any shares, and as long as I can support my family, I do not intend to sell. The investigation is still ongoing and everything has to wait. Whatever the outcome, for the self driving company, it's more than just the findings. In January 2009, Google's self-driving project Project Chauffeur was launched in the Google X Laboratory. The project leader was Sebastian Thrun, a professor at Stanford University known as the father of Google's self-driving car. It is the origin of this wave of autonomous driving. Now, more than a decade later, we have witnessed wave after wave of investment booms. But the bad news broke out collectively this year. The CEO was fired and the chief scientist of the new car-making force resigned under pressure. Even the L4 Silicon Valley star Unicorn, which was valued at $7 billion, attracted $2.6 billion, has 2,000 employees, and is backed by Ford and Volkswagen, has declared bankruptcy. This makes people wonder, can the ideal autonomous driving really appear? Once one of the hottest tracks in the field of new energy vehicles, it is now cold and windy. It can be seen that the prospect of autonomous driving is bright, but it is definitely a very difficult task. Even Argo AI, the L4 self-driving star unicorn, directly declared bankruptcy. According to media reports, Argo AI, an autonomous driving startup jointly invested by Ford and Volkswagen, will shut down operations and its employees in some parts will be received by Ford Motor Company and Volkswagen, respectively. The reason why these events can trigger such a big response is because in the past period of time, we have really seen how popular the autopilot track is, with the influx of capital and too much expectation from the outside world. In fact, the overwhelmed side of the autonomous driving track has long been seen. In May of this year, Cruise, the self-driving company GM previously acquired, laid off nearly 8% of its employees. In July, Tesla closed its California office and laid off 229 of its employees. The team that was laid off belongs to Tesla's Autonomous Driving Research and Development Department. Autonomous driving technology is divided into L1-5 categories, namely, L1 vehicles are still controlled by the driver, and the vehicles have some primary driving assistance functions, L2 vehicles can complete certain driving tasks by themselves, L3 vehicles can achieve automatic acceleration, deceleration and steering in specific environments. L4 and L5 levels basically say goodbye to the driver. Building a vehicle that does not require a driver is the ideal state of autonomous driving. The good yearning for the future has made this track gather a large number of autonomous driving players. But is it really that easy? It is a huge challenge to realize autonomous driving in a dense urban environment with many variables. It's harder than putting a man on the moon, said Doug Field, Ford's chief senior product development and technology officer. It is foreseeable that the autonomous driving competition in the L2 Plus field will be extremely fierce in the future. And as for idealistic self-driving, let's wait for some time. Let's go back to Ho's incident. There are many rumors about this incident on the internet, and a book has been put on the desk by everyone. The American Trap, a book about how the former European giant Alstom collapsed due to unwarranted suppression in American competition. It became very famous after Huawei was suppressed because of its 5G lead, and the American trap has since become synonymous with the United States' uncompromising means to stay ahead and win. In any case, mankind's expectation and pursuit of autonomous driving technology will not stop nor will mankind's expectation and pursuit of truth. Okay, that's all for today's sharing, see you tomorrow.